hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel Amazon african motives in this platform we shall be working on question papers and revision on electricity for engineering science n3 so if you're new to my channel you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from uh, Amazon african motives okay so we have the first question which is on question number seven on electricity where we are given to explain faraday's second law of electrolysis and uh, 7.2 to define electrolysis okay so like i always say guys i come with uh, some definitions and some uh, ways of having this okay so for the first question of 7.1 we are given um, when the same quantity of electricity is passed through different electrol electrolytes so these are the electrolytes that should be given the masses of different ions that are liberated at the electrodes are directly proportional to their chemical equivalent weights so these are directly proportional to their chemical so it's all about the masses of different ions then they will be proportional to the what to the equivalent weights so it's masses versus the weight directly proportional okay that's uh the second law as we are given then electrolysis on 7.2 is given by this formula that i'm having here is the process by which ionic substances are decomposed into simpler substances when an electric current is passed through them Oh, simple definition actually yeah, it's a simple definition anyways then now um, let's quickly move on to the calculations and see what we are having there three cells each with an emf of three volts okay so we have an emf of three volts and internal resistance of 0 0.4 per cell are connected in series okay they are connected in series then there is a parallel part here then the parallel part now connected to the series okay something like that okay so what is happening here guys um if you are to cross check this is the this the way we are having three cells so on these three cells we have uh, each is going to give us with an emf each with which means each cell one cell is having an emf of three but they there are three of them so you're going to multiply them in actual sense in series remember that the total emf is going to be e1 plus uh, e2 plus uh, e3 like this so in actual sense we are simply multiplying the one that you you have you multiply it by what by three so what emf which emf do we have we have an emf of three volts so it's simply three by three which is going to give you nine or you simply add you're going to obtain the same thing which is nine volts okay so that means here the emf at this point is giving us nine volts okay then the internal resistance again it's 0 0.4 per cell which means we have to calculate the total of this because it's per cell and we have 0 0.4 per cell so which means it's going to be 0 0.4 times three because there are there are what there are there are three cells here and in series remember that you add so you're going to add this 0 0.4 three times so adding 0 0.4 three times simply means you're multiplying which is going to give you 1 comma 2 so this is going to give us 1 comma 2 in this case here Ohms. okay so that's what we are having on that source then uh, calculate on 7.31 calculate the total resistance of the circuit and that's four marks the total resistance of the circuit okay what do we have here we are given this resistance the internal resistance the parallel circuit the resistance here where there is an ammeter this ammeter is an internal resistance and here this part between a and b where there is a voltage so there is a resistance again which are in series so the series part is not an effect we are going to add them so in order for us to have rt now uh, this is actually 7.31 okay so rt which is the total resistance in this case we are going to add uh, the internal resistance which is rt okay so we have rt the internal resistance plus the parallel part here of r1 and r2 so it's going to add this parallel part plus we have this resistance on the ammeter okay we have the resistance there on the ammeter plus 
the resistance in series also this one of the ab which is r3 of the voltmeter where we are having the voltmeter we can just write it as ab but this is of the voltmeter like that okay so these are the three that we are having now let us find our rt so rt is going to be equivalent to this R, small letter rt is for the internal resistance the one that we obtained by multiplying 0 comma 4 times what times 3 which is 1 comma 2 so it's going to give us 1 comma 2 plus the total resistance of the parallel circuit okay take note guys in the parallel circuit it's uh, the product over the sum in order for you to find this you're going to use product over sum okay so the product of the resistors you multiply these two resistors 2 and 3 so it's going to be 2 by 3 that is the product over the sum that is 2 plus 3 okay then plus you are done with the parallel circuit we move on to the resistor the series resistor of the ammeter this is an ammeter and it has a resistance of 0, 0,4 ohms so it's going to give us 0, 0,4 plus the resistance across the voltmeter which is across ab this voltmeter which is 2 ohms so these are the resistances that we had in the circuit so definitely we have to combine them and uh, see what we are going to obtain uh, okay so from this part here we have 1 comma 2 let's just write this we have 1 comma 2 plus uh, this is the product of a sum so you can actually put a fraction like this then you multiply is 2 times 3 over 2 plus 3 okay that's 2 plus 3 like this then you move on plus 0, 0,4 and 2 so it's 0, 0,4 plus 2 you just add them directly like this so you're going to obtain this which is 4,8 ohms okay so this is going to give us 4,8 ohms like this so this is our RT the total resistance of the given circuit that we had okay that's it guys four marks for that then the ammeter reading, okay, the ammeter reading, take note, the ammeter re reading, this is the ammeter, and we know that the what, what flows through the current is actually the current, so we actually need the current that is going to flow in this circuit here. Okay, so this current that is going to flow through the ammeter is actually the current of the whole circuit, so this is the current of the whole circuit of, of, the, of the, the complete circuit combined together. That is what we are having there. So in order for you to have the ammeter reading, you must calculate the total current of the circuit. And we know that it's easier for us to calculate the total current. Why? Because we know the formula for current is given by, if it is total current, now you're going to use the total EMF of the circuit, which is 80. So you have the total EMF over the total resistance of the circuit, okay? So this is going to be the total EMF. Remember, we obtained this 80 from the 3 volt EMF of the 3 cells. That is where we obtained 9. So you are going to have 9 over RRT, which is the total resistance, the one that we obtained now, uh, which was 4,8. Remember, we obtained a total resistance here of 4,8. So this is the resistance that you are going to divide with 4,8 okay so let's see what we are going to what we are going to obtain in actual sense if we divide this 9 divided by 4,8 so it's simply 9 divided by the answer that we obtained before which is uh, going to give us 1,875 1,875 amps so this is current which is measured in so this is actually the total current which is also the current in the ammeter okay so this is the current of the ammeter which is the total current also of the circuit okay then uh, the voltage across a b on 7.33 we have the voltage across a b okay this is our a b where there is a resistance of three of two ohms the r3 which is uh, two ohms so in order for you to have the voltage remember this is a series circuit and this current is flowing is the same throughout so if the circuit is having the same current throughout which means here in order for you to have the voltage you're simply going to multiply the current and the resistance remember voltage guys is current times resistance okay 
so a voltage is current time resistance that means the voltage uh, drop across a b this is going to be v a b like this is going to be the total current multiplied by the the resistance across a b like this okay so that's what we are having in this case resistance uh, voltage is current times resistance so you can actually substitute the current here is the total current that you obtained which is the one that you just have 1.875 okay multiply by the resistance across a b so this is the resistance across a b which is r3 of 2 ohms okay so this is what you're having so you can actually use your calculator direct here to multiply by 2 so you're going to obtain something like this 3.75 if you multiply these two properly this is going to be 3.75 volts so this is the voltage across a b okay so that's how they ask these questions guys and so easy if you are to cross check okay the current through the three the current through the three ohm resistor and that is four marks for that okay that's the current through the three ohm this is the three ohm resistor here okay what are we having here guys remember sorry remember sorry for that remember that um when you are working with a this is a parallel circuit actually and the current is the same yeah the current is going to be separated into two like this okay so one thing that we know here that is uh, the one that we can actually take advantage is that since current is going to be like divided because another current is going to be flowing this way another one flowing this way so the current is going to be different but there is something that we can take advantage in a parallel circuit which is the voltage the voltage in a parallel circuit is the same so you can actually take advantage of this to say that uh, this is the parallel circuit like this this is our parallel circuit something like this so if the voltage is the same we, it means actually here there is a voltage drop of uh, the v parallel we have to find the v parallel v parallel which is equivalent to current times the total resistance of the parallel circuit okay of which the total current we already have this which is 1.87 both current is the same uh, multiplied by the total resistance of the parallel circuit uh, this one we didn't like calculate it separately but uh, we just mentioned this part let's just see what we obtained because remember it was product over sum this was a product over sum of two and what this was two and three so it's two times three over two plus three the product over sum so it's two by three over two plus three okay so this is actually one comma two so in the parallel circuit the total resistance is one comma two this is the total resistance so you multiply the current to the total resistance of the parallel so that you can have the voltage drop of the parallel okay so this is one comma two that you obtain then you multiply by the current which is one comma eight seven five So you're going to obtain 2,25 okay so you're going to have 2,25 volts okay so now taking advantage of this that there is a voltage here of 2,25 volts okay that is the voltage drop that we are having here the emf which uh, which is actually the voltage drop here of 2,25 this is 2,25 volts okay then the current now is going to be easier why because we are given that this is three ohms and this is two ohms from the diagram here so in order for us to have the current here since the voltage is the same i'm going to use the advantage now of uh, the current since i'm having voltage and resistance i can find current from these two because i'm having resistance and also i'm having what i'm having current so that means the current in the three ohm resistor is going to be the voltage of the parallel circuit because we said voltage in the parallel circuit is the same divided by r3 okay because current is voltage over resistance so the voltage in the parallel circuit is 2,25 which is the same voltage throughout the parallel circuit is the same then you divide by r3 which is this r3 in this case r3 r2 this is r2 okay um I'm using I3 but it's supposed to be okay for the for the 3 ohm so this is for the 3 ohm which is 3 not 
not like the third resistor but for the for the resistance this is i3 for the resistance okay so it's 2.25 divide by what divide by 3 so guys just use your calculator properly okay you're going to obtain something like 0 0.75 i'm not mistaken there but it's going to give you 0 0.75 amps so this is going to be the current so all this part here is involvement for us to have this current we had to first find the voltage so this is like the voltage the total voltage of the parallel of the parallel this is of the parallel circuit the total voltage of the parallel circuit okay so once you have the total voltage of the parallel circuit you're going to use now the current uh, as the total voltage in the parallel divided by the, that resistance because in the parallel circuit voltage is actually the same the voltage across here the 2 ohm is the same as the voltage across the 2 ohm in a parallel circuit okay but in a series circuit it's opposite uh, in a series circuit like this it is not voltage which is the same it is the current which is the same in a series circuit current is the same but voltage is not we have different voltage drops okay so that's how you actually answer questions on uh, electricity guys they can give you a circuit or sometimes they can give you a word problem where you are the one who is actually to draw the circuit list out the currents and whatever that you're having and answer the question so to not to miss those questions and classes make sure that you subscribe to my channel guys don't freak out it's an all normal to subscribe and also to share our videos to our friends and colleagues so that they also can benefit from this information that you are having from maison african motives till we meet again